Dr. Juice? What do you want? Dr. Juice, we need your help to figure out which water has the best pH levels for your health. Sunny, you know I left that 20 years ago for Juice. The world needs your help right now. You know I lost my legs. What? You know I have cataracts also. Just go away. You don't get what I'm saying. The pH level balance of the waters are not correct. Did you say pH levels? We gotta do something about this. All right, everybody, my name is Dr. Juice, and we have a variety of different waters here, from Crystal Geyser, Fiji water, Evian water, to uh, Jaden Smith's Just Water. And I wanna know, which of these waters are good for your health? How are we gonna do that? I've already done this twice. Let's do it a third time. I have here the pH Drax, okay? Just to inform you, pH levels contain acidity or basicity of water level. They range up to two all the way up to 11. If you're all the way down to two, that means it's very acidic. Seven is neutral, okay? You wanna aim for seven if you want just like the normal water. Anything above seven, they call it base. That base means it's alkaline water, which is good for you sometime, not after you eat, but it helps you with electrolytes, sports, it's good for you in that case. We wanna know what is good, what is not. Stay tuned till the end of the video as we rank the waters from least to greatest pH. You're gonna have to find out and see what that is. So let's start with Crystal Geyser here. Keep in mind, what we're looking for here is the color. If it's reddish, then it's probably not good for your body. If it's green, like straight up green green, then that is what you're aiming for. That is what kind of water that you wanna drink. If it's bluish, it's good too, but you want that green. This is your regular Crystal Geyser water. And let's get this pH drops happening. Let's drop a little bit in there, shake it up a little bit. We want, oh, oh, this is a good one. Crystal Geyser is a little bit blue, which is fine. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest as well. You have a little bit of alkaline properties, which help hydrate you, thus making you very, very, very hydrated. The verdict, is it good for you? Yes, it's good. Let's go with Jaden Smith's water real fast, okay? Just water, if you guys didn't know. The bottle's made out of plants, so good job, Jaden. I love your whole uh, campaign here. This is awesome. By the way, this video's not dissing on the water. I just wanna know what's up, because I'm Dr. Juice, you know? Jaden Smith's water. Is it good? Is it not good? We're looking for green or blue. If it's red or yellow, then that is no go. Just water, oh, oh! It's like the same color as the Crystal Geyser, which is pretty amazing. That's pretty good. Our verdict is just water good for your health. Yes. Wow, that's crazy too because this one is flavored too. Lemon is very acidic, and just to make the lemon flavor not acidic, that's pretty amazing. This is what people call the bougie water at most cases. If you have a bottle of this walking in the public, then people know you got the clout. Here we go, Voss. Let's see if you're good. Go a little pH in here. Uh oh, it's not. Uh oh. So is the clout worth it? It's yellow. I mean, oh, that's that's surprising. It's not very acidic. It's just below neutral pH levels, which is. I'm not a doctor. I am. I am a doctor. I am Dr. Juice. And my advice, if you drink water levels that are acidic, you're gonna have a little bit of health problems. Problem. I call it problems. You're gonna have a little health problems later on in your life. So make sure you drink healthily, okay? Water is very important. Drinking water to hydrate is good, but drinking good water to hydrate is better. We have the Ice Age Glacial Water all the way up from Canada. Pour a little bit here. Is this water good? Okay, this one is looking yellow. This one's a little bit acidic as well. Ice Age glacial water, I think you're too old. You're from the Ice Age, so it's probably expired or something, I don't know. We have the Waikea water. I'm pretty sure this is from Hawaii or somewhere in the Pacific Islands. So this is volcanic water, straight from the volcanoes. Fun fact, volcanoes contain rich amounts of nutrients, okay? Whenever there's a volcano and it goes to the land, usually that land becomes very, very prosperous because there's so much nutrients nutrients in the soil. The plants become really crazily healthy there. But is this water healthy? Okay, that was fast. It turned blue real quick. So this island water, Waiakea, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Waiaka, Waiakea is good. Ah, you like how I'm drinking all the good waters. <laughs> I'm gonna spoil this to you. If you've seen the second episode of me doing this, Arrowhead is actually really good for you. It doesn't taste the greatest, but it is the cheapest and it is very healthy. So if you want the bang for your buck, grab your Arrowhead. Mm. Don't believe me? Check this out. I know a lot of people don't like Arrowhead. I used to not, but then I forced myself to. Check it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of drops here. 
Look at that. Look how blue that is. See, you know that's a good water when this thing turns blue. The pH level is so balanced. It's above balance, actually. It's above pH level number seven. My advice. Cheap water doesn't taste the greatest, but it is healthy. Arrowhead, Arrowhead, not sponsored. None of these are sponsored. This is also another bougie water people talk about. If you walk around in public with this, you're probably gonna get robbed. Evian, pH drops. Are you as good as you say you are? You are, because I see blue. It's not as blue as like Arrowhead. Arrowhead's pretty blue, but this is more on the seven neutral density pH level. This is also a really popular water. Came out of nowhere, started booming in 2014. Now it's become one of the most successful water brands here, at least in the United States. Is it healthy? I don't know, let's find out. A little bit of drops. Yeah, it's looking good. Let me add some more water so you guys can see it. It's a good blue in there, which is kind of cool. So if you're drinking Fiji water, keep drinking it. It is good for you. By the way, these pH drops are not drinkable. So if you do try this at home and, you know, put pH drops in your waters, please don't drink it. It's not good for your health. It's for this purpose. Or just watch me. Don't even buy these pH drops. Another popular water brand here. You can find this alongside with Smart Water. If you go to the theme parks or anywhere, they will have Dasani. Pour a little bit of Dasani in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so Dasani is yellow. Fun fact about Dasani, they put salt in the water. So I don't know if the salt will make you thirstier to buy more. That's a tricky model, because imagine going to Disneyland, getting Dasani, you get more thirsty because there's salt, then you buy more Dasani. That's kind of, hmm. Looking from the bottle, it has this cool little creasing and whatnot. You would assume this would be really good for you. Are you actually eternally good for the body? Let's pour a little bit of here. Boop, boop, boop. You're looking on the blue side. Eternal water is good. So far, there have been three acidic waters. Boss water, Canadian Ice Age, and Dasani are all on the yellow side of the pH scale. Other than that, everything's been looking good. Let's see how healthy tap water is. I mean, of course, tap water depends on where you are. Colorado has good tap water because they're from the springs, apparently. And there are some bad tap waters as well. Here, Los Angeles, California, how good is your tap water? <laughs> no way. What? Tap water is good? No, really? If you don't believe this, because we use the hose, so maybe the hose tap water is good. Okay, let's see. No way! What? Wait, so that means the toilet is good too? Oh my gosh! The toilet water is good? That's disgusting. I've seen this around. This is the Essentia brand. pH level is 9.5 or higher. We're gonna be expecting a little bit of purple. I don't recommend this after eating a huge dinner because nothing is going to digest and you're just gonna feel bloated. Are you good? Ooh, see, there you go. This one is like dark blue. This is good. I'm assuming that's from volcanoes, but let's let's find out. Volvic water? Okay, this is good. This is on the the bluish, greenish side, but more on the blue side. I don't know what to expect for this. This is the bi water. And then if you see here, antioxidant water. Antioxidants means it takes away all the bad things, it prevents cancer and all the bad in illnesses. Is the pH level of this good for your body? I'm gonna be expecting purple. Oh! Yes, that is a good looking blue. This is like almost in par with the essential water, which is dark blue, but this one's like totally up there. Aqua! But nah, we got the natural spring water. So if you have this in your household and you want to know if it's good for you or not, allow me to test that out for you. It's on the blue side. Wow. So pH level is pretty nice on this one. Yeah, all these water companies nowadays. Good job for making sure everyone stays hydrated, stays healthy. I applaud you. It says pH 9 or above. But then again, it says here, multivitamin water. I don't know what that stands for, what that means. Multivitamin water. Do they just like crush up a whole bunch of multivitamin pills and put it in the water? Let's let the pH drop. Whoa! Whoa! That is deep blue. Essential water blue is like that. It's like really up there. If you look at the, the bottling, it's not the most appealing <laughs> like packaging, but pH water don't lie. Oh yeah, I feel the electrolytes surging through my body. This is a really cool video if you want to be informed of which water to drink. Water is really good, people need water, and uh, we really gotta be conscious of what we drink nowadays. This is the True Soul water. This is electrolytes added for taste, so it's pH balanced. This should be on the purple side. 
Uh oh. Oh no, we have another yellow. We have another acidic one. Don't judge the water by the container. The container looks very appealing, but the water don't lie here. We have body armor. This is the sport water. pH level is above eight, which is good. You want all that electrolytes to replenish your bodies and your muscles. Ooh, this is like deep blue. The Italian still water from Whole Food. Let's try it out. By the way, the bottle is glass. Fun fact, if you leave your bottle of water sitting in the car with the heat, BPAs emit out of the plastic into the water. I don't know if it's myth or fact, but BPAs are really bad for you, so don't leave your bottled waters in the car. Just drink it as soon as possible if you can. This is a good blue-green water. Usually, waters in a glass bottle are really good. Oh dear, I've seen this everywhere. Core water. Is it blue or green? Yes, core water is good. 1907 from New Zealand. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Are you good? Yeah, it is good. Brown source. This is the Rocky Mountain spring water. It comes in this like aluminum looking bottle. Mm. Oh, oh, oh! That's a good blue. Icelandic glacial water. This is a pH of 8.4. That's pretty high. Yep, mm -hmm. I am not surprised. Blue. H factor. This is the hydrogen infused water. I'm not sure what that means, but it's supposed to increase your athletic performance, reduce inflammation from exercise, and deliver powerful antioxidants. Packaging for this is like a little bit different from the others. Ooh, I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's supposed to be yellow for a reason or maybe it's a glitch, who knows. This is the Starkey Spring Water. Two miles deep, geothermal, one single source. This is a water from Idaho, from the underground. Mm. Oh, that is the bluest of blue. Okay, let me just do that one more time. There's no way it's that blue. That's pretty good. Two drops. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty blue. Oh, okay, it says it has the pH level of 9.6. That's pretty, that's pretty up there. Wow, <laughs> ooh, I feel energetic. Last but not least, we have the flow water, alkaline spring water, cucumber and mint infused in the water. So I wonder if that has an effect on the pH levels because the Just Water by Jaden with the lemon didn't have an effect. So let's see if this one has one. Broop, broop, broop. Looking good, it's blue. Oh, that's pretty nice. There we have it. Let me just reorganize this so you can have a better view of what water is good for you and which is not. They're all organized here. Bottom of the pack is this water right here, the H fact. But I'm not sure though, because pH drops measure the scale of how many hydrogen ions are in the water. And this is hydrogen infused, so it's probably still good, but there's just a lot of hydrogen, so I don't know. It might not be accurate, so don't trust this completely. But from what the drops tell us, this is what the full scale is. Top of the pack is the Idaho water. These are the top three. Just look around to see if you your favorite water is here along the scale. And uh, yeah, that's that's really it. Evian's right here. Fiji's right there, right in the middle. Of course, these are the bottom three. I'm not sure about that one, but I would go with Voss for the bottom. Comment down below, what's your favorite water? Hope this video has helped you pick water. <laughs> By the way, surprisingly, tap water fell right here towards the top portion of the spectrum. So it's on the top percentage. Pretty good. It's not bad for you. I don't know. Don't take my advice. Stay juicy.